Hello and welcome to day two. So I've not left yet. It is right now half past nine in the morning. And I'm actually still waiting for my batteries to finish charging. So they're over that way at the moment. Um, the first one went on when I arrived at the hotel. And then what I did was I swapped them out and started charging the other one overnight. Now my overnight sleep wasn't great. I probably woke every two hours or thereabouts, but what I did manage to do was swap over the charger. So the second one went on at 11 p.m. and then I swapped it over at around 6 a.m. So it took somewhere up to about seven hours to fully charge. And then the first one I put on got about two hours before I went to sleep. And then it's been on since 6 a.m. So I'm hoping that that one finishes soon. It's still charging now and I can't really leave until I've got two full batteries. So in other news, my legs are not feeling too bad at all. Actually, my thighs are feeling pretty good. But what I did notice was I've managed to beat up my calves a little bit. So the pedals, um, as I've maybe stopped the bike and put my feet down, the pedals are spun around. So they're both a bit bruised and scraped up. But that's no big deal. I can work with that. And also my shorts region definitely feels a bit better than yesterday, but I'm aware that once I sit on that bike seat, it's gonna start to be a little bit uncomfortable, but hopefully I've reached the kind of maximum discomfort and can work through it. So we're gonna wait for this to charge and then we are heading off. So we've done now 100 miles in total. Today I've managed to do 20 miles and it's not been easy, but it's definitely perked me up since the ride yesterday. So that's pretty good. Also, I've had a quick stop here, just in the middle of nowhere. I've got some company while I'm just taking a rest. There you go, noisy bugger. And yeah, it's feeling pretty good. So we're gonna get onwards and stop for lunch pretty soon. So we've done now 32-ish miles today and I've made it to Leicester. So Leicester town centre, I'm there now. So loads of shops around, but actually I don't need anything. Um, I don't need any water or anything to stop for. So I'm just gonna keep motoring through, but it's actually quite nice to just stretch my legs for a couple of minutes. And yeah, recording this gives me an excuse to actually just get off the bike and take that little break for just a couple of minutes before I head on. But quite pleased with the journey so far today, actually. It's not been too bad. I stopped for lunch about five or so miles ago. So I went to a pub and had a little lunch there. Stopped for half an hour and also charged up the battery while I was there, which will probably give me an extra couple of miles but I think that I'm actually pretty good for battery life. I think I'll get to the 35 miles. It was definitely concerned at one point, but I think I'll be okay. It was quite hilly in the bits I was going down. But anyway, all good, so let's keep going. I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here? Hundred and forty miles into the journey and I'm probably about five maybe ten away from where I'm staying tonight so I booked in somewhere yesterday after the dramas that happened then so yeah feeling pretty good I think battery life I'll be okay um, the first one I definitely was nursing and got about 40 miles out of it so this one I'm not quite being as considered about, um, but it's definitely draining fast. So I'm going to be going to be tight on the battery once again, but that's okay. So last stretch, and then we'll get an earlier rest today. So here we are, end of day two, and I managed to get to the hotel at quarter past five. So considering that I left the original hotel I started at 
in Kettering at around half 10 or so. Getting here at quarter past five actually is really good. So today was just under 70 miles. So we've taken the total mileage to just over 140 so far. And today definitely was a much better day. So having a destination to reach definitely helps. Having my expectations set as well really makes a big difference. So obviously yesterday when I went into the challenge, I had no idea how many miles I'd be able to do in any given day. So I was optimistic about what I might be able to achieve and didn't really have any plans on where to stay. And as we know, that didn't really work out in my favor. So because I'm aware of what the bike can do and what I can do, then obviously that makes the whole process a little bit easier. Now in theory, I reckon I could do the 100 miles a day, but not with this bike, not with an e-bike, which has the kind of range that this has. Now, obviously the benefit of this particular one is it's got a changeable battery and the batteries are actually quite streamlined. So they fit very nicely into the chassis and therefore it's quite easy to take a spare. But at 35 or so miles per battery, it means that I can't get enough miles out of them. Now you could say, well, what if I had three batteries? Well, then definitely I could do hundred miles a day. But then the problem you have is that I would need to start a bit earlier, probably finish a bit later, because with stops, lunch breaks and everything else, I average about 10 miles an hour over the course of the day. So I go faster than that, obviously, when I'm cycling. Um, my average is somewhere around 13 to 16, um, depending on where I'm up to. So I could definitely travel further distance, but by the time I'm stopping for picking up water, having a lunch and everything else, it ends up taking me an hour to do 10 miles. So off the back of that, what that means is it would take me 10 hours to do 100 miles in a day. It's not unreasonable, but that means that I wouldn't have enough time to get all these batteries charged. So the batteries take five to seven hours each to fully charge. So if I'm cycling 10 hours, that leaves me with 14 hours to charge the batteries and also I've got to sleep. So I wouldn't be able to charge three batteries in that time without having to do some overnight management and everything else, which is just a pain. So I've kind of set my expectations at around the 70 mile a day mark, which isn't too bad at all. So I'm quite comfortable with that. Today's definitely a better day. It's not as emotionally draining. I actually felt really good about the first 20 miles. Um, and all the way through, I didn't feel like it was gonna be a particular challenge to get to where I'd booked in to stay tonight. And also, it was quite nice that the first battery lasted longer. So I gave it a half hour charge while I was on my lunch stop. And also I was very considered in how I was using it as I went along which meant I got just over 40 miles out of the first battery. And then the second battery, that meant that I didn't need to be as concerned, which is actually a really good thing because probably the last 10 miles were all uphill, which was a real challenge. But I was able to give it a little bit more help on the electrics, which meant that although it was a long way and definitely was painful and challenging, it wasn't nearly as tough as it would have been if I was running out of juice or I was only going with a small amount of assistance. So that's it, day two finished. Looking forward to starting with day three. And because I finished earlier today, it means that I won't be waiting on my batteries tomorrow morning, hopefully. So I'll probably get started a little bit earlier, which will also mean that I can be a little bit slow with my lunch breaks and things like that. And maybe if there's anything useful to see on the way, then I might even take a stop. Right, that's it, see you in the morning.